Today I'm going to show you how to measure a milliamp signal and I'm going to do it the wrong way first. So make sure you watch the whole video. In this video I'll be using this Fluke 87B multimeter. This video is not sponsored by Fluke, but I do have to thank them for loaning me this meter and Electrical Equipment Company for making the connection so that we could do this video. Then many meters will have servo posts down here, and you'll have to move this depending on what you're measuring. We're going to be measuring milliamps, so we need our post on the milliamps. Also notice in this selection, you can do milliamp or amp. If you were doing big amps, you would be over here on this one, but milliamps or microamps, we're going to put it right there. And then in the top right here, notice it says AC. We want it on DC. We're going to hit the yellow button. That's going to switch us over to DC. And then this is the part we're going to do wrong. That way you don't do it wrong in a second when you try to measure it is what most people will do now is they'll take their red lead to the red post and their black lead to the black post. And the moment they do that, they blow the fuse in this meter. And let's talk about why this happens. Because I will promise you, half the meters out in the field, the fuse is blown in. And during a training week, when the technicians do this, I ask them, what type of circuit is this? And they're like, it's a 4 to 20 milliamp. I'm like, okay, what is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal? A current signal. And I'll say, well, what regulates the current through the circuit? And I'll look around a second, and they're like, oh, well, whatever our device is or our sensor. I'm like, yeah. What was regulating the signal the moment that you touched across your two-wire sensor or whatever the analog signal is? And they're like, nothing. In our case, we have a 60-watt power supply. And to figure out how many amps we have available, we're going to divide that by 24 because it's a 24-volt power supply. And that means we have two and a half amps. And we're going to multiply that by 1,000 to put it into milliamps. And we'll get 2,500 milliamps. And if we look directly below that post, in between the comma and it, there's a 400 milliamp fuse. And I hear all the time at this point, I have a really good high quality meter. And usually somebody's rambling off part numbers and specifications and everything else. And I'm like, I agree with you. You have a really good quality meter, and that means that they are going to put proper protection on that meter, and you did just blow your fuse. The right way to measure milliamp signal is to break the loop and become part of it. So I'm going to just take one of the wires loose, and it doesn't matter which one, and put the black lead in place of it, and I put the red lead back on, and now I'm showing 20 milliamps on our analog simulator. I'm showing 20.01 milliamps on our fluke meter, and I'm showing 19.8 milliamps up on my display. And now we would know that we need to either replace the meter or it needs calibrated. This is the way to do it with your most common meters and not blow your fuse. A really neat thing is the Fluke 773. And I wouldn't mind playing with one of those. Would you like to see a video on it? If you would, put it down in the comments. If you haven't seen the videos we've been doing on meters, click here for a playlist with some really helpful tips.